Vamos. at university you know it seems as if the professor has um, exclusive rights to the missing girl family yeah which nothing is wrong with that if a family want to give you exclusive rights but at the same time if you're calling for the public assistance you have to be very careful 
because it's you in, in you you asking the public to be a part of what is going on. When we know so the public, them want to select who yield to the call. They want to select who them who is you know the persons them where they want to be involved or who can speak about the issue. So the mother now is saying that the public is not really, according to Fishy Net Professor, the mother is saying the people are not supporting or the people are not as enthused as they were. I'm paraphrasing. You know, in the beginning. Well, the mother has to understand that these people are seven days wonders. She has to understand that these people are wagonists. And I've been saying it from day one. As soon as the excitement, as soon as the sensationalization we off, they move on to another topic, or they move on to another thing. Or they move on to themselves. Because it was always about them, it was always about monetary gain. It was not about you, mama. So you just have to understand now, say, at some point, you have to be in the wilderness by yourself. You and your family members, them. Now, what caught my attention is, the professor for the university is putting it on record that the mother told him, or he has the medical information for the mother. And those medical conditions, in my opinion, should not be disclosed to the public. I don't believe that the medical conditions for the mother should be something that the professor putting out there. I understand that it's important to do these things to get the, 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 the charity running because the people are sending the money. To assist her and of course you know there's a percentage that comes from that to the university to fund the university but in my opinion and based on my knowledge and my research that I've done especially in these type of situation where lawsuits are being filed or a lawsuit is filed or a lawsuit is filed it is very dangerous or you can compromise even the lawsuit because remember if you're gonna sue the police officer mama miss 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 what miss, i don't know your right name I, ho I hope somebody will show you this video because me know say me not have, have me not have an ounce of interest in the monetary side of this thing yeah, or the popularity from this thing yeah. God did that take my blessing if me a look more popularity than what me have at this point in my life. Because nobody never used to know me a floor, me used to sleep and I in a board house all kind of sitting. So the amount of popularity we me already get in my life, I don't know why people think that me want more popularity than what me have right now. So I hope that somebody would have at least show the mother this. Because since professor, the professor have exclusive rights it seems, I is a spokesperson for the family. I am going to advise the mother and I'm going to make this video very short because I know they may do another video. Because as soon as they feel like me is a threat to them platform, they make videos and send it out to them minions. Them. I'm going to advise the mother on something. Stop giving them people information that can be used against you. Stop let these people take your information and put it on the internet. No. If a man claims he have all these medical issues prior to this case, if a man is going to come forward and point out all of the problems them that you have health, had health-wise before this case, how are you going to file a lawsuit to say this case got you sick? Remember when you're filing a lawsuit, you know, remember the, the, the plaintiff and the defendant both use lawyers. So you think a lawyer is going to see it? He's not going to ask you if you told the professor that you had all these implications prior to the case, prior to the lawsuit. Then 
it can it, it, it can be said that you're suffering your mental and your stress and all of them thing there your mental and physical problems or issues are from your previous illnesses it's as simple as that you know so in other words your medical report or your medical information is supposed to be with your doctor and your lawyer not with the professor from Fishnet University because if, if it's not clear to you as yet Miss, Miss Madam I know you want the help I know you want the public them to keep on keep pressure on the police and all of them things there and me understand, me never, listen to me under my pitney missing under my pitney maybe deceased I understand all of that but with all of that mama you have to understand something you have to know ulterior motives and you have to understand that a man will come forward and give you all the grocery in the world that you need a man will give you all of the love that you need all the, or you may need and all of them things but at the end of the day from a legal standpoint emotions and them things that can't run the courts you have to understand that these things will come back and haunt you you don't have to take it from me but let's say me a idiot then I mean I make no sense I made just bad mind let's say I threw them attacks I made just bad mind right ask a lawyer don't not take it from me ask a lawyer just link a lawyer and say to your lawyer will this affect me in the long run just do that Nobody not supposed to know all your medical conditions, them sister. Especially in a time when you're filing. I, I, I saw something that you filed the last week. I don't. I, I, it's something that I see proliferating. Them proliferating. Let's say that is true when you file the last suit, and which I think that's a that's a good thing if you if you can prove that you have suffered psychologically, mentally, and physically because of the stress of losing your daughter. If that is the case. You have to be very careful. Let me give you an example. I have a nephew that I don't speak about that got killed, that got, got murdered. Right? It is before the court and I don't speak on it because I don't want anything that I say to come back and hurt the case. No, you have never heard me speak about this publicly. What I spoke about, I spoke about um, the... the the time when I knew about the, 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 my, my nephew cutting the person or chopping the person that I, that's all I, I said I didn't say anything about this case nothing about the murder nothing about who involved nothing about that would you believe that the same lawyer that is representing this person that y'all are saying guilty that y'all are saying he's guilty and he's to go to prison and all them things here. would you believe that that lawyer put out there in the public that I I'm putting out information on the case according to reports according to what came out and I had to send him a direct message on Twitter and ask him to cease from doing so if he's doing so because I was not speaking about the case but of course lawyers are going to look for and it is that is you can go look it up you know Mr. Townsend according to the report said I was speaking on the case and I was not even speaking on the case because lawyers they're always digging for whatever straw them can hold on to for assistant clients it's as simple as that so when I talk I know I just talk out of hat here go and look it up go look up Mr. Townsend um, condemn Mr. Vegas or whatever like that a statement according to the report came from the lawyer that I am meddling in the case and I was not even talking about it you have never heard me mention this murder case but of course a liar that the mother always I look for something I had to tell him to cease from putting out those information I sent him a direct message on him Twitter publicly and tell him to you're not dealing with a fool I know what you're trying to do but represent your client and leave me out of it so he wants to get something to go to the court in my opinion to say whatever information is before the courts I was the one who said it on social media 
this is not a guess and spell thing. I know 100% that they will try and use whatever they can use to defend their clients. That is what a defense attorney does. Putting out your medical information, mama, to the public can come back and haunt you, in my opinion, in my view. Because I, if I were, and I'm not a lawyer, but if I were a lawyer, and I see you put out there that you had complications prior to this case, I am going to say your complications are pre-existing. They are pre-existing conditions. So you cannot say it's because of my client's actions. And remember, say my client in my presentation is innocent. How can you prove now that is the client, my client, caused you emotional stress and sickness? You can't get no damages, no money for damages, or sue me for damages. Because may already hear from the professor from the university that you said, so now you're gonna have to deny that you told that to the professor. And if it's a jury, they're going to want to see your medical record to see if what the professor said is true. So that, that is a lead. You understand what I'm saying? Bright people. That is actually a lead. It's a lead that can be investigated. Now I'm going to ask the court to, to, to expose your medical history. I'm going to subpoena your medical record. Don't take my words for it. Ask your lawyer. Ask your lawyer. You don't have to believe me. Because at the end of the day, me not doing this to get no popularity. Me not doing this to get famous. Me not doing this to build no platform. Me quite alright with the non-engagement on my page. You understand if I want engagement, I come show no my people. Yeah? And me and my girl dress up naked and come come show no all kind of same thing I'm showing in my house and show no when me I have sex and show no when me I go have sex and show no this and show no that I mean what them things they're gonna like. So me na look engagement. Okay? Me just speak objectively and me care about the matter contrary to what someone believe. Because God he knows if I can find for my daughter to the backside if she go away with one man. God he knows when I walk up and down like bad man to the end of the road. You understand? Because I love my children. Them. You understand? And them thing is just a, 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 a cause for concern and, and it's an eye opening about the abuse that women you know, go through, especially in Jamaica. And something that we tolerate uh, um, for years. And I've been speaking against child abuse, sexual abuse and all of these things and the same people them were burn me out when me talk about child abuse and sexual abuse and them things there. You see man now realizing that we have a serious issue in society. Notice the the, 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 the case that is that that that, that the, the, the judge just gave the man six years. The father six years for him, him for getting his 15 year old child pregnant and his argument is there were no women around there were no women around so he, he you know he, he, he had to have sex with his daughter and the judge heard that and gave him six years that in itself deserve a march around the courthouse and in time that judge is going into the court he must hear the voice of the people but we're not going to get no tambourine for that because no money no depend on that we not go get no rap head for that because no money no depend on that. You know how long a lady with the pastor, according to her, the pastor raped her daughter when she was 13. And the police, them have her, the government have her in a, in, a, in a witness protection program till she turn, she basically turn a zombie. And you know how much platform she, she go on and asking for help. Nobody no busy with that because no money no depend on that because the first thing you go hear say your mother get pregnant when she at 12 your mother get pregnant when she at 13 with you 
Oh, and now I'm all thing in a Jamaica, 14 year old, and nothing they don't know. Say, big man been there with 14 year old and 15 year old. So, the money no really depend on that. And if you hear some smarty and mullins, little boys, the money no depend on that because you don't know some madman no defend fish. And that are the facts about the, 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 our society. If it's a little boy get molested or one of them things there, if they can't find a little boy, no money no depend on that because, you know. So we don't get no outburst and we don't get no public outrage against the principal or the teacher from down the school in St. Anne's. We have the little boys in them hotel room and me just stand aside and look and see if anybody would talk about it because two me know so them are going to say the little boy them a fish. Me just stay out tight because you go here say Vegas always a different fish. But you don't get no outburst and no outrage and no rapid and no hallelujah amen and no prayer meeting for that. And no church. Now send, send them a prayer for Yeah, either because I talk about Snapper or because the Wi Fi bus are one of them. But to pick up what I was saying, you know, you're in the outrage about the little boys, them with the, 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 the them catching at the hotel room with the, with the teacher. But then catch a teacher in the room with the little boys, if you correct me, Adi. Y'all don't get no outrage about that. We don't see nobody today I put up anything. Missing some angry, angry, angry comments. Mm. I don't know if, it, if, I, the, if the anger is towards the, the, the father, we get him 15 years pregnant and get 6 years. I don't know if that I don't know if me we go talk about it because I know that some people are angry when we talk about these things. Because as soon as I talk about somebody say no sound. Can you hear me now? Tell me if you can hear me now. No sound, no sound. Is Facebook carrying out them 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 al algorithms check? So let me know when you can hear me, yeah? Let me know when you can hear me. I cover nothing, you know. Actually, I'm not my finger, though, even though I have anything. Sound is back, sound is good. Just give me a thumbs up if it sound good. Alright, good. So, what I'm saying is, it's a problem in a society a long time, so I feel for the mother. And I understand that so them things can get you stressed out and put you in the hospital and all them things. And this can actually induce any form of ailment that you have. This, this, this situation, I know, but it, it will go on. The court, not the, um, if, a, if a lawyer is going to argue that in court, he must go prove how it induced this sickness because they're going to have to say, Do, have you been taking any form of stress medication, pressure medication? All kind of things because that is what the lawyer get paid to do to defend his client. Him not go look on the emotional side of him. I go say, yo, madam, I understand because I have daughters as well. But at the end of the day, we are dealing with the facts here, jury. This lady, Miss What and Such, and Miss So and So, she has been taking this type of medication for the past 15 years, for the past 10 years. Oh, you think the lawyer bring up that now? Because the lawyer get a lead from professor of the fishing at university. So while you are thinking that y'all are doing a good job and you're not seeing through the cracks, you're not seeing that some people just have ulterior motives, and that's fine. You understand me? I say, I fool the money we not take up and give people, and my money we not take up and give them. So give all you want to give, and help all you want to help. I don't have a problem with that. But I'm saying, if you're really concerned about the lady still, I think so one of you try find a lawyer for her and make sure deal with the, the lawyer. Tell the lawyer your problem. Tell the lawyer what you're going through. Make the lawyer decide if you must go public and whenever you're putting out anything out there, it must be in a written statement. Miss so -and -so, Mrs. So-and-so or Miss So-and-so is seeking the public assistance for anyone with any information to call this number and the lawyer and the private investigator 
if you really care about this case, you know, what you are supposed to be giving the money towards, you know, a private investigator, you know. These Facebook detectives, they cannot help you. If you are really care about the lady, find the person out there, the charity person, link up Miss Donna. Miss Donna is a good woman. I I, I love Miss Donna. I think she's a good woman. But if you really want to get some help to this lady, reach out to Miss Donna and say, Miss Donna, you know, we want to send you some money for this lady to get a private investigator. I will even give her money towards that, you know. Honestly, I ain't lying to you. If the, she, if the lady want help with a private investigator, and this is another thing when we want to educate the people them both. When you're out there claim so you don't have the village lawyer them, I try to solve the case. It's better to give the case to a private investigator and that too will ease up some of the stress that the mother is going through because the private investigator and the lawyer is going to update her. This whole heap of missing women and children in Jamaica, you know, this can be a catalyst. But it has to be done properly because now you have the attention of the justice system. It cannot be these village lawyers going and interviewing the woman and coming and talking about all her medical problems. This will hurt her, in my opinion, in a lawsuit. You are going to tell me I'm not a lawyer, I'm not a sense. Well, dick, me. okay, I'll accept that. But speak to a lawyer. Don't just bash my feet. Speak to a lawyer. You see what I'm saying? I already have a problem with the lady up on the phone with L.A. Lewis and the, and the man we wash, say him wash the vehicle. And the lady is telling the man to say it's Wednesday the coach came. Me already have a problem with that. I mean, it's not, I'm not a lawyer. But based on my understanding and the amount of legal proceedings that I've witnessed, me can tell her right now, say, the mother go up on the stand and the cross-examination, maybe, were you trying to tell this man what to say? <laughs> no, I was not telling anybody to say anything. Well, we, we'll play that recording, please, if it's an admissible in court. Weren't you telling the man at the car wash to say, it's Wednesday the coach came? But you just lied on the stand. Emotions cannot work in the court. The judge is going to direct the jury what to analyze. It may sound stupid to you now, but when the, if you really want to help this lady and you really want to get justice for this girl, don't take my words. Speak to a lawyer and tell you no pastor professor, educator, political activist, charity worker, philanthropist, you all have to just say, tone down. We know so you have all the ambitions and you want to run the country, you want to take over the country from Andrew Wilness and all them things and you want a better Jamaica like Sir P. Well, you will go on now. Do things the right way. So Vegas now have to come talk about it because if me see it, I go talk about it. Worse me is a man, I can't see foolishness and attack. Is what I say? Especially when I can learn from it because it said I go do some studies and some research on it. So when I see something like this now, I go do my little research and I look at other cases and look how them cross-examined. The witness them. You not going to take no time out to do that. You are going to just come, come cuss me. You are going to just come, come tell me, say, if you go find song, if you go find music, you still want more hit songs after 25 years, you're not getting enough. And I appreciate you saying that because it simply means that you like to hear me sing. I appreciate that. So I don't hate you. I don't hate you. I don't dislike you. What I dislike is the way you choose to stay dunce. That I dislike. I don't like people who don't want to evolve. You understand me? I say, me not like, like me not like people who say, oh, my pastor say, 
No, me like when you read the Bible for yourself and make you have a discourse on that. Don't just tell me say, your pastor say. Sit down and read it for yourself. You can't read, get one app, make your app read it for you. And you listen to what it says. Me not like lazy scholars. You see what I say? Me not like lazy scholars. You pray? I mean, I want a body for my page just de I agree with where I send either. If I attack foolishness, just do it respectfully. I say, Vegas, I disagree with you. I don't agree with you. That way I say, foolishness, and it's fine. Direct me to the right thing. Direct me to the truth. But it is a fact that we don't care, but we don't jump up when something is, you know, being sensationalized. And sensationalization is not a bad thing because you're trying to bring awareness to something, but we cannot just do it part time. We have to go go march around the courthouse where the father gets on six years. What kind of judge give a man six years to get in him 15 year old daughter pregnant? What kind of law is that slap? Then you could slap on the wrist there. I encourage more fathers and more family members and more men to get little girls pregnant. Because, of course, in another case, a lawyer is going to use this case to beg for leniency for his client. How you gave that, you know, Your Honor, we are asking for a similar sentence, you know, that was issued out or that was given to such and such that got his daughter pregnant in case number file such and such and such and such and this and that and such and them have them number where them use and them, 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 them scholarly talk with them use and them tell you the case file and them tell you the date of the case and them say the state versus this and that in such and such year this is gonna go on the record you know this man getting six years to get him daughter pregnant is on the record you know so anybody you know any liar you know I beg leniency if you are a rapist you know worse you go in front of this judge you know this judge must be barred you know and this judge must be called out you know this judge must not sit for no more rape case Six years to get your daughter pregnant. This man forget life at least 30 years. You destroyed a little girl life. And it's a pattern. The Moravian pastor got eight years for getting two children pregnant when these people are in position to teach and educate and 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 up, you know, help to, to bring up these girls, these little girls and these little boys to be something in our society. To let these little girls and these little boys come out to something. You're supposed to be, the, you know, making sure they're doing their school work, making sure that they're going to school. The church money we are collect must help to fund educational programs. Our education programs. Zin, instead of that, you're praying on the little girls and getting them pregnant, undeveloped child. According to scientific report, Pastor Lewis DNA was found in the underwear of a little girl and he walked away without being sent up, without getting without 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 getting any form of you know punishment. No prison time. Man walked free and came out about say, him, him soap. Him soap is 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 is, is. Go, go right over there please. Over there, no 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 to the, to the left, to the left, to the left. Yeah. So at the end of the day Let me go press it please. At the end of the day, you don't have to take my word for it, but we can't be selective now with outreach people. Understand? And we can't be encouraging. These internet lawyers and these Facebook detectives, call them back soon, call them Facebook detectives. And we can't encourage the Facebook detectives them if they put out the latest information. And, and of course, the, 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 the YouTube of them, them glad when you do that so they can put it on them platform, monetize it. And lady, I want to hear me clearly, lady, I mean, hope that somebody showed this to you. Please understand. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to thief one of, um, I'm going to thief one of, one of, um, robot man line. A lot of vulture, uh, vultures out there. And just know that people are hungry and people want money nowadays and people do. When you're putting your information out there to people, you're going to turn left. Right there? Yeah.